And, and then the neighborhood itself was a special neighborhood. Uh, I have a hard time explaining it uh, in, in a few short words, but it was a family. And the church really was, at that time, now go back if you can to the 1940s and 50s and maybe early 60s, it was the glue that kind of held everything together. One of the things there that happened originally, the church was supposed to stay. They were supposed to bring 91 highway more towards Worcester Square. But somehow that got changed. And so the church went down and the whole neighborhood area went down, but there's still some neighborhood left. But the thing was, it was devastating. You know, we, it was very hard. We felt like something was taken out of us, something wonderful. Everything that was there, I'll show you. These were all family houses, six family houses. This was all Grand Avenue business, and in, all knocked down with the idea that a, an industrial, huge industrial park would come. So they got finished knocking it down, and the church now had no one coming to the church. So it didn't make sense to keep the church up because there was no one coming. We had all moved to other parts of the Greater New Haven area outside that. And that was one of the issues why the church was knocked down. The plan here is to, uh, is it to create 130 affordable live work lofts for uh, artists, creatives, musicians, creatives of all types, and affordable apartments. 